<laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's kind of like a miracle, all in one. If you're wondering what he's talking about, he's referring to a story that sounds something like straight out of a movie. Yeah, Guilford County family found their stolen van at a Thomasville gas station and police say the criminals were still inside it. That's right, WFMY News 2's Jess Winters has the details to this wild story. Yeah, this is our first look at the women who police say knocked on an elderly man's door in the middle of the night, bleeding, asking for help. But she fooled him, grabbed his keys and took off with his van. She's been caught and you're about to find out luck played a big. The odds weren't in Billy Smith's favor. One in a million shot. But it was his lucky night. I was never expecting to be able to, you know, actually find it. Two weeks ago, a woman stole Smith's grandfather's van in High Point. 80-year-old Paul McIntyre says she banged on his door, bleeding, saying she had been in a car accident. When he turned to call 911, she ran in, stole the keys to his Dodge, and took off. She got my keys and got in the car and left, and she went that way. Police later discovered the trailblazer she crashed was also stolen, and she got away with it both times. Fast forward a week, Smith went to Sheets in Thomasville. He was just gassing up after work around 1 a.m. when he casually looks over and lo and behold, it's his family's stolen car. What are the chances? I was like, hey, that's, you know, that's my grandfather's stolen van right there. I was like, I know for a fact I got the tag number. That is the van. In another stroke of luck, a Thomasville police officer pulled up to get gas at the same time. It's just like, wow, you know, I mean, I'm still in shock right now. Police arrested Brittany Dratwick on the spot. McIntyre is not a man of many words, but this is how he feels about getting his car back. A big thumbs up. Basically, you solved your own family's case. Pretty much, uh, pretty much. Thomasville police also arrested 50-year-old John Dollar in connection with the stolen car.